Continuing our conversation on Oklahoma snakes, today we want to look at how snakes may impact horses with Chris Heine, our extension equine specialist. Um, a lot of trails um, and trail riding typically is in more obviously rugged territory. It's part of the fun of going trail riding and so it's quite possible to run into rattlesnakes and there's certainly a number of copperheads uh, prevalent everywhere. So it's possible. The nice thing is obviously horses have kind of a self-preservation instinct and so they typically will avoid anything that's really threatening. The primary risk though is if let's say we're trail riding and they walk over a log and all of a sudden there's a snake on the other side that maybe doesn't have a chance to warn you that it's there um, and so then the horse could step on it cause the animal to, to strike um, or the panic that maybe is more of a risk if the horse panics or the rider panics um, we want to make sure that we get back away from the snake but we don't lose control of the horse and lose control of the situation so sort of a remain calm kind of idea. I don't think you want to panic about snakes with horses and you have to think about how big they are. This is a large animal. So something that could maybe kill a small dog is not really going to hurt the horse. Um, horses, the biggest risk factor is if they get bit on the face. Okay, so If they get bit on the face or the muzzle and there's a lot of swelling, it can cause problems with breathing. But in general, if a horse was just out and about and got struck on a leg, it's not typically going to be a life-threatening issue for them. Sometimes people when they trail ride will carry a uh, rubber hose with them and that's actually to be able to insert that into the nostril of the horse to keep the airway open. But if she got um, struck anywhere else on her body you might see swelling but it's not typically going to be a, a life-threatening issue for her.